This encampment has now been declared unlawful. Students and non-students alike have been asked to leave. Now, it's been relatively quiet here tonight in terms of activity, not necessarily the case in terms of noise. Take a look down here. You can see these two boxes of very large speakers. Those have been blasting from this side of the fence all night long. It's been both music and the sound of sirens that we've been hearing kind of on repeat. That actually just stopped. Now, the people inside of this encampment, they are standing their ground. This is the first campus in the UC system to move against an encampment like this. There's a lot of security here, but it's not clear if or how this is going to be cleared out. Day six of a growing pro-Palestinian encampment at UCLA. Many neutral students say they're getting fed up. I'm not really on either side of the Israel-Palestine debate, and they have a First Amendment right to protest as much as they want. 9 a.m. to midnight, I fully support. But the encampments in these wooden structures, and now they're building gates, and not letting students move freely on their own campus. In fact, some of the people telling students where they can go probably aren't even students. On Tuesday, UCLA notified encampment members they needed to pack up. Quote, we're asking students, staff, and faculty to leave the area. Those who choose to remain, including both students and employees, could face sanctions. The group inside, called the Palestinian Solidarity Encampment, quickly responded with a statement alleging Zionist aggressors had been harassing and threatening them while campus security stood by. The group called the attempt to clear the encampment a repression tactic. This cowardly intimidation tactic is not only unconscionable, but also a complete failure to defend the very students you claim to protect. Fox 11 tried repeatedly to talk to group members. Is there a media representative? The media is at the, at the end of the media. We went down there and there was no, there was nobody there available to talk to us. Okay, I'll, we'll check. Can you update on getting a media representative? We're just on deadline and wondering when someone can talk to us. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do that today, sorry. It's very upsetting and it is near impossible for Jewish students to concentrate on their midterms. Jewish students like freshman Sasha Nelson say they're shocked the university hasn't done more to protect them. It is dystopian for lack of a better word. One longtime psychology professor tried to get into the encampment to open a dialogue but was turned away. It's very frustrating. Uh, I'd like to be able to make my points and it seems to me the only way I can do that is if I can go into the encampment and speak. This is not the UCLA I know. Never. Now, again, the people inside this encampment appear to be standing their ground. We got a copy of their schedule for this evening. It included speakers, dinner. One of the items on there, though, was a workshop on dealing with cops. So it appears that they're preparing at least for some kind of interaction, possibly with law enforcement at some point. Again, no details on if or how this is going to be cleared out. But again, the people here seem to be standing their grounds. Reporting live from Westwood, I'm Chelsea Edwards. I'll send it back to you in the studio.